Hello everyone and welcome back to the Europa 2 Goodbye Despair where my hero has been killed. We investigating here still, I think we checked. Uh, there's a lot here so I have no idea if I actually checked everything but I think so, so we shall start investigate everyone. Let's start with you Kashirisu because you were the first at this scene as far as we know. Although usually there are three people have discovered a body. I'm not sure if they said it in this game yet. So let's see. Uh, that's weird. What? What do you mean? Uh. Well, what's come as softly as I thought about to get that ring from that refrigerator? Well, I bet a few days ago, pretty sure there was a lot of Arica drinks. Man. Well, I guess I just mad things. I mean, who cares about drinks right now, huh? What are you talking about? Well, there's no water. Seriously, okay, I saw them the earth yesterday. What the heck, you started it? Tell me, confirm it! But only the unhealthy stuff is left. Water is removed, like someone just poured it all over themselves to get rid of blood. <laughs> this is too weird! Something's weird, it should only happen in song lyrics! They don't have much to say, it seems like. I thought I would give, like, some kind of telling. I will never kill you. I will never forgive killing, I mean. Hmm. Jack is in quite different from my usual self. She must feel very strongly about the killing. That's... It's not just Jackie. There's no way anyone would forgive something like this. I guess you are right. Although I am the killer, maybe. I don't know. What is this? This is suspicious, I think. Did you find some kind of clue? Because, I mean, sometimes you seem really smart and uh, and have a very good idea here how to solve a mystery game, but sometimes you seem to be missing some core information. See? You know, the footprints from earlier, they were in front of the entrance, facing the beach, right? Oh, that! Wow. Adime and Kasuisu's footprint show that you guys were the first one to go inside the beach house. <laughs> but these footprints are just the opposite. They are coming out of the beach house. Now that I mentioned, I thought those footprints were strange too. You... you did? Uh. Yeah. At first, I tried to go into the beach out from the door facing the road, yeah? But it didn't happen, so I went around trying to go from the beach side door. You cannot go inside from the roadside door because Mary's body was blocking it, right? Hmm. Yeah, then that's when I noticed those footprints. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel looked like they belonged to one person. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house? Huh, that's definitely suspicious. Yeah, now that I mentioned, Vic said she went for a little swim run. Did I swim Prince B? Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the fast beach. I do not know anything about the this speed. Is that really true? But still. But these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. The whose footprints are these? It's clearly the little girls, huh? It appears. It is no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who that might be. I think it's the little girl's footprints and I don't think she's the killer. Well, for now, it's obvious this is a clue. Don't you think so? Yeah, it's probably an e extremely important clue. Footprints on the beach has been added to triple exception. Oh, I guess I finished investigating all I can, but there's still not enough. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like I should try investigating that again to find out why my hero got killed. Twilight Syndrome Murder Case! Ooh! Oh, that's alright. 
Gurley was killed in that game by a single blow from a metal bat. Metal bat. Huh. That's the same weapon that was used to kill Mahiru. That... There's no way that's just a coincidence, right? As it also gave a motive. Actually, in trick, this game team is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. A missing link. If that's the killer's motive for the killing this time, then that mystery must be hidden inside that game. Plus, the person who might know about the mystery is standing right next to me. I should ask her about it. Sure thing. Has been updated. Yeah! Whee! Okay, wanna talk about the game? Hey Shiaki, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Are you done investigating here already? Huh? I think I finished investigating once through. Yep. Then, let's go. G -g go? Uh... You want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? Then, I think you should actually play it yourself. Let's go. So, let's go. Yeah, you, you're right! Can you game me through? I need a guy to kick. Uchaki leading a left the beach house, then headed over to Yabuok Park where the unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never, never expected that person to be waiting there. For Yuhiko? Or is it the little girl that hates game? Nagitu! Hello there. You're right, I didn't expect that. Where did you tie up? What happened? Nagito! <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you two like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why? Why are you here? Well, well there's no need to worry about a loser like me. <sighs> More importantly, did you hear? Apparently, a hero got killed this time. Riz, how horrible. She was the part of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed, if only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. Amazing! But still, you guys will be able to shine as this outcome is full of despair, right? That's right, no matter how dark the despair, hope will shine much brighter and stronger. <laughs> Though I do feel bad for Mario, this is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome this bad despair? Looks like you feel no remorse. Yes, as usual, he's acting so crazy, he's almost pissing me off. So, why are you here? Not only about Mahiru. Oh, no. mm, you don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you about it. Mono me. It's mine! Yeah. yeah! It was me! Yeah, why did you untie Nagato without anyone's permission? Um, uh, did I do bad? I just wanted everyone to get along and, and you know, cooperate. There's no way we'll get along! You already know what kind of guy he is! Yeah, yeah, but fighting among friends is what Monokuma wants you guys to do. Now, now. Adina, you should forgive her. Monomi is making a valid point, too. You have no right to say that! But, well, now's not the time for friends to fight. There's going to be a class trial for my hero, right? That's right! That's right! That's why everyone with me must work together! And have Monokuma! Enough! Enough already! Just go away already! Oh, understood! <laughs> Nagito, you two, hurry up and get lost! Man. Well, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I do that. I already saw the true ending of this game, so there's really no reason for me to be here. True ending? Now then. So, 
How do I know if you're a little late? I too can do some investigation for a while. I'll try to be useful in my own way. Hmm. Who do you want to be useful to? The killer or us? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I will always be on the side of both. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. If it did not exist, the situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it! Hey, hey! Adieu, man. Let's just move on and start the game. You're right. Are you just gonna say the same thing, or...? Hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Huh? Huh. I feel like I'm just going to repeat the second day and fourth day again and then get the game over. So if there is a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? When you get the game over, that's the walkthrough. Huh? What do you mean? She means learn from your mistake, damn it! Want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? You mean there's five left? See? You should have seen it too. You know, that thing that was displayed on the game over screen. Is that? Down five. Oh, it's... oh you need to go down five. That's step. right. Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down five drinks or something. It means you have to press down five times. Oh! Then they even command this! Yep. You just have to press down often five times when on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real ending. So that's the trick, just as expected of the ultimate gamer. Nope. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just, you either get it or you don't. In fact, Nagito got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. I got it! Sure. So I was wrong that thinking five people have played it before and I was the fifth one to go down of course. Non victim resemblance, having no dead, it's purely intention. Okay. okay. I need to press down five times on the title screen. Alright, let's do this. No open a new door to Twilight Syndrome murder case. And place. Oh, I. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, true edition! The screen changed! She was right! <gasps> oh. This is the real game. Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Truth edition. I should start it up. I need to find out why this is a motive. I'll start it by pressing the start button, right? Have to tell me over and over again. Sure. Oh, and all this. We open with a specific murder case, a tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that the incident was the work of a pervert who snuck into the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind that incident. Even before the Anna first discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were the first to discover it. However, tragedy befell those girls. Several days after the incident, one of the five girls, girl E, is murdered by someone. What in the world happened at this once peaceful academy? By playing the missing first day and third day, you will be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden in this truth edition. Will you be able to reach the truth? Now then, let's start with the first day. When it all began. Bum, 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 bum. So, 
Are you saying the four other girls in our group also were with her and uh, saw something? I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Geez, you're gonna go home late because we had to wait for Slowpoke Girl, eh? Come on, Girl B. You don't have to be that mad. Oh. Hey! Let's go take a photo without permission. People might mistake us for good friends. I, I'm not your friend. What? There's no way I'd be friend with a trashy, nasty, trashy pig shit like you. There we have the little girl. And girl A is the nurse. If I get it right, girl A is the photographer here, so she's also my hero. Who started to it? Um, actually, that could be. Oh. Huh? Is that... Uh, is that Ibuki? I feel like that's Ibuki. Damn! The way I've been chased by the way and then she's looking good. Well, maybe. Nice. Wait, girl, he wasn't the one that taking the photo. Apparently she got something. She tell us still has to wait a little longer. She can't find her school swimsuit. Hey, swim say, huh? Maybe it goes stolen. Stolen? You don't know. A pilot has been spotted in the area recently. <laughs> you should be super careful, Gale. Eh? A shabby weakling like you makes the perfect trip. Hey, stop it. Gale is getting really scared. <laughs> it's fun to bully Gale. Eh? What was that sound? It sounded like glass breaking. It sounded like it came from the second floor. Let's go. Then what was the incident the real girl saw? I real as in. Or anime girls. So. But, I mean, it couldn't really be. But, no. And that. That would. <laughs> Wait, this is Girl E now then. So, my hero? Girl E, what happened? My hero, what happened? I. I don't know. I walked by the front of the music room just now. And then. I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is someone in there? That's what I think, but I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. You're right, it's not. Did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? Uh, if we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open this door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge and get the key to the music room. The teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But I have a bad feeling about this sure, Han Solo. Okay. I found the key. Nobody was there, so it was super easy to get. Then let's open it right away. Hmm. Key. Okay. Girl, are you leave. Girl A, you lead the way. Huh? Me? Come on, hurry, hurry. Clutter, clutter, clutter. There she is. Someone's lying on the floor. This. She's not laying down. She's dead. Dead? Oh my god, that's impossible. Why? Yeah! Lower your voice, they might still be nearby. Ne nearby? I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. Murder? Huh. Seriously, shut up. What's gonna happen if the killer notices us? What should we do? What should I do? I see, so that's what happened. I found it, the killer escape route. Escape route? Could it be... the window? Oh, I have to check it myself also, really. Being within a game. Ah, the window is broken. That sound we heard from the entrance hall was probably the window breaking. Someone probably locked the music room door from the inside, and after killing this girl, they broke the window and escaped outside. Looks like she got hit by something when she died, but I can't seem to find anything bloody here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So the killer just ran out the window. 
but if they wanted to run away, they could have opened the window. Why did they have to break it? They were probably trying to leave in a hurry. Look, there are seven of us. A fish tank by the window is tipped over, and all the gravel is scattered. They must have accidentally tipped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. Hmm. Broken fish, fish tank? How does this work? <sighs> it's not too high to jump from the second floor, so maybe they thought it'd be safer than using the hallway. Uh, is that really it? I mean, to lock the door, you have to either lock it from inside the music room or use the lounge key. Oh, when I went to get the music room key, it was in the teacher's phone. So the key wouldn't have time to return the key before they broke the window. Then the door could have been locked from the inside. That means the killer was inside the music room. Also, to be at out. Right from the music room, they'll need to have passed by, passed by us in the entrance hall. But we didn't see anyone pass by, which means the killer's only escape route was this window. Has been had any? Really? Hmm. It's probably that pervert I heard about. He's the one who snuck inside the school ground. Huh? My skill swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then the pervert who stole the girl is school swimsuit also murdered that girl over there. Hmm. They probably locked the music room so they could rape her, but she ended up resisting. So they frantically tried to get away, broke the window, and escaped. How does it work to get it? Isn't it? Bad if we stay here much longer. I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this, and the killer might still be around too. That's bad. Oh, my bad. We got area run. What about calling the police or something? No. Well, don't we have to report this to the police? Thank you, girlie. Don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime suspect just because you found the body first. I definitely don't. Don't want that. You were in a group together. And you heard when it happened, basically. You each other have all alibis. <sighs> Maybe not, but still you should. Actually, so trade it out that come out sometime in the future here, yeah, therefore a, a rough night. Apparently they also do that, like, nope, we're not going to report the murder and instead take the body out. Yeah, it'd be best if we left this room how we found it. Just to lock the door, leave everything how it was. Ah, hey, please wait, don't leave me here. Hmm. And third day. Girl D. Sorry, did I make you wait? So what's up? You asked me to meet me here. Don't tell me you're gonna confess your love to me. Huh? What happened? Uh, I wanted to look at this photo. On the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next door classroom as I was going home. And I couldn't help taking a picture. What do you think this broken vase piece is mean? Or vase? That sound we heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of a window breaking. What is this? I don't know anything about this vase. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. Seriously? I don't know anything! It's okay, I made sure to throw it away. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, girlie? Uh, are you trying to blackmail me? Of course not, that's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? You... You didn't say anything either. I know you. I knew the girl who got killed was tormenting you. Huh? huh? No, she wasn't just tormenting you. She was seriously making your life a living hell. That bitch was in your photograph club back in middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she. I'm supposed to be your best friend. If I told you, if you told me, none of this would have happened. Girlie, don't tell me you. That bitch thought she could do anything she wanted because of her family's influence. And I just couldn't stand it anymore. 
You know, at first I tried to talk to her. But that bitch started talking shit about how she'd target me next time, so... I felt a sudden rage, and before I know it, I was choking her. And then... She lost consciousness, but things would have been worse if she woke up, so... That's why I had to do something about it. That's... It's not my fault, or yours. It's all her fault! Uh, Garly, uh, but we don't have a second one murder. Who is it? Um, Guy F, like Fujihiko. Yeah, that bitch, Garly, was it, yeah? Why did she was with her on that day of the incident, yeah? Hmm. Looks like she threw something away here, what was it? Hmm. What is this photo? This face is... Uh, could it be the sign of breaking glass was actually this? Hmm. If it wasn't, why did she try to signal get rid of this? Huh? That bitch. What the hell did she do to my little sister? Oh. Okay. Looks like I need to ask her a few questions, yeah? And if that bitch really did not... Hmm. I will never. I will never. Oh! Looks like this is the end. That's right. That's the true edition. The incidents first day and third day are depicted in it. Yep. Yeah, now you fill in all four events from the first day to the fourth day. Hey Shaggy, what do you think of the characters in this game? Um... You mean like girl A and girl B. The main Names makes no sense. They have no romantic chemistry either. No, not that. While you were talking, looks like the ending stuff will start. Stuff from? Perhaps. You should be able to find out what you wanna know if you look at it. Probably. What I want to know is on this stuff from? Who played who? Producer Monokuma. Director Monokuma. Supervisor, Monokuma. Plan scenario, Monokuma. Programmer, Monokuma. Graphics, still Monokuma and sound too. Cast, Sumiki, Koizumi, Hayako, Nogasato. I can't. I don't know that last name. I don't. Sato. Why can't you give me both names or at least uh, faces or something? So I can be sure. Wait, just now. See? See, didn't I tell you? What you wanna know is gonna be um. Miracle! Yeah! Congrats! Miracle, congratulations! You'll finally be the Twilight Syndrome Marathons! <laughs> now that you guys have played this game through to the end, you should already know. That's right, that game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past incident. Is that true? By the way, way non-fiction is an original story based on historical factual records. Hey, answer my question. Well, even if this is non-fiction, the guys probably don't remember it. Well, that can't be helped. The school life you no longer remember is the setting for this story. Our school life. Alright, oh, Fudihiko also mentioned he had a sister. Oh. Do you remember that he told that his sister would take over the family even if he decided to do something else or something there? Oh. Oh. Isn't that wonderful? At any rate, congratulations. Now then, as for the any price that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for clearing the game, I won't give it to you. Ending price? There was only one ending price that I already gave it to the first person to beat it. Too bad. <laughs> How disappointing. Did you say ending price? Like, I was told the same thing when I beat it, too. Aww. Man, I was too late. 
If I know something like this was gonna happen, I would have played the game sooner. Uh, and then we have the uh, envelope that Fudihiki had before. But the ending price isn't a problem, it's what Monokuma said earlier. He mentioned how he used our school life as a setting of the game. Just as I thought, so it's connected to that this time too. But is it really? Is it really true? We were already living our school life and our memories were completely taken away. Is something that crazy actually possible? Then what did they do to us? It looks like there's something on your mind. Huh? Perhaps. Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who beat them this game. That this game is non-fiction. That is the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. Uh, so do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about that right now, we got to focus on solving this mystery first. Whatever we believe, it is the motive or not, it is clear that a murder did occur. If, if that's the case, then I need to question them directly. If I do that, they might be able to learn something. You talking about the people whose characters appear in the game, right? Then I'll go too. That's right, if I get this information from them, I might find out about something. About the mystery behind Mahiro's stat, about whether this game is true or not. And if we really had our school memories taken away. Then let's hurry and ask the others. And while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in the game. Oh! Leave it to me. Ah, also, if you want to gather your thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me any time. I see, thanks. That's a huge help. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. Alright, let's go! And off we go to find the murder for Juhiku.